Hey, welcome to the freeze dried business channel. My name is David. I run a freeze dried business in Idaho. If you're running a freeze dried business anywhere or you're starting out, you bought the freeze dryer. These videos on this channel, as well as any content that I produce is exactly for you. So we're going to talk about the products that I found have been the most successful for me. I did a lot of research on the top sellers on Etsy and other platforms like that to know exactly what I should start selling. And I found um, a couple accounts that were selling the most sales. So I looked at their listings and I found really some consistent products that were being sold there. So let's go through those. All right, the first category that you should add to your products is candy. That's the most fun, it's the most creative, Andy changes its texture, which is why really freeze drying has taken off for so many different people to start a business. So it's nothing new. You're gonna find that if you're just starting out in a freeze dry business or you own one today, you're probably gonna find that most people are freeze drying candy. If you have a Harvest Right freeze dryer, there's an option for candy mode on the latest version. It allows you to customize the temperature in candy mode. You can start it and it only has you freeze dry for about two to three hours. You're really not freeze drying candy. You're using the vacuum and the pump and the temperature to change its texture and form. And certain candies will change its texture, others will not. A good way to research candy and which ones do well and which ones do not is there's a Facebook group called Freeze Dried Candy Makers. I would suggest that you join that Facebook group. You can type in their search bar once they accept you into the group and just type a different candy. You can type in Tootsie Rolls, you can type in Twix, you can type in Sugar Daddies, you can type in anything you'd like and see if people have done it. Most likely there has been, and you'll be able to find out whether you don't need to waste your time with it or not. So I would suggest the following different candies for you to freeze dry starting out. One is freeze dried taffy. The taffy, it changes its form, so it's from the chewy state all the way to a little malt ball. I would suggest cutting those into halves or quarters. A lot of different flavors with saltwater taffy. It makes it fun to find out what the right flavors are that people are gonna buy. Skittles. Skittles, I think, started this whole trend with freeze drying candy. It pops, it's no longer chewy, and it's crunchy, and you can do different flavors of Skittles. Third, you should do Jolly Ranchers. Don't use the Jolly Rancher name. Jolly Ranchers change from a hard candy to a malty, like super fruity blast of a, of a malty little sugar ball. And one, when you add it to like a window type craft bag for your business, man, it's just gonna pop and people are gonna see that and wonder what it is. And once they eat it, they'll buy from you. Next do Charleston Chews. They change into what I call them as cocoa vanilla puffs because I feel like they taste like a Whopper. Once they expand into the freeze dryer, they're delicious. And I found that a lot of people that try the samples, it's really fun and it tastes great. Peach rings, man, that is a huge hit if you can get them to work. I found that they're a little bit inconsistent, but man, the peach rings, they're cheap to buy, but they expand almost to triple their size, which is really fun to look at. And last, if you wanna try something that is more um, unique, look at high chews. That's the chewable fruit chew candy that you can find at Sam's Club and Costco. They don't pop as much, but they definitely become crunchy. And I think people really have liked those for me. All right, so to recap the candies that you should start out with starting in your business is saltwater taffy, a variety of flavors, Skittles, Jolly Ranchers, Charleston Chews, Peach Rings, and High Chews. second category that you should add to your product lineup as a freeze-dried business is fruit. Fruit freeze-dried as its original form is delicious, it's light, it's airy, and people really like fruit just freeze-dried and not reconstituted. Freeze-drying fruit definitely does take a little bit more prep depending on what you do. In some of my other videos on my channel, I show you how to prepare different fruits. There are some that take little time to prepare and cut, there's others that take a little bit longer. The fruit that I would suggest you do is strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, apples, pineapple, peaches, and bananas. Some of these take a little bit longer to prepare. I did a video on cutting strawberries. I also did a video on cutting apples using a potato slicer. I did a video also on blueberries using the rollerberry. 
Take a look at those videos and see how I prepare different fruits for your freeze dryer. Fruit, depending on how much weight you put into the freeze dryer, takes a little bit longer to do. A large freeze dryer with five different trays, it generally takes about 36 to 48 hours to freeze dry and finish that cycle. If you're doing fruit, look for ways to maximize the cost so do things that might be more seasonal, look for deals with different grocery stores, different farmers markets and ways to get deals on the fruit that you're buying and freeze drying. So to recap, freeze dried fruits and berries to do for your freeze dried business are strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, apples, peaches, pineapple, and bananas. So the third category that you should add to your freeze dried business product lineup is something that you're going to have to check with your local health district to see if you can do under your cottage food or if you have a commercial kitchen and you're a food, you have a food establishment permit then you don't have to worry about this. But ice cream, ice cream sandwiches and then ice cream scoops. Ice cream sandwiches changes into that astronaut type of ice cream, especially the sandwiches change into uh, like a cookie. That's, that's really tasteful and I think the flavor comes out really good and that's been one of my top sellers is ice cream sandwich bites. I recently released a video about ice cream. I use Tillamook ice cream because it's more premium. Using a bite size cookie dough scooper, you can use for the ice cream and you can make little bite size for your consumers. I found that those have been really successful. It's also been a, one of my higher priced items and people still just buy it from me all the time. So it's been real successful to do. So to recap is ice cream sandwiches, cut them into small little bites, and then also do ice cream. Try to choose a premium ice cream like Dryers or Blue Bunny or Tillamook and use a cookie dough scooper, which I have links in the description for my recent video about that. Use that to create the bite size for your customers. Ice cream I have found takes around 24 to 36 hours, depending on how many you put on the tray. Great product to add because not many people do it. And you just wanna make sure that you check with your health districts to make sure you can do it under cottage food. Okay, so those were three product categories that I think that you should start out with in your freeze dried business. It was candy, fruit, and ice cream. And there's a couple of obscure categories that you could add that I've seen be successful in other Facebook groups and other business types but I haven't personally done myself, but I'm looking at doing it next year. And that is on the veggie side, doing peas and corn. I've heard those are delicious. I also have found, heard that lemon heads, doing it properly has been very successful. And what you do is you put it on candy mode and you warm the trays to that 135, 140 degree temperature, get them nice and soft, the lemon heads, and then you run the candy mode for two to three hours and they pop just as normal like other candies. So definitely add lemon drops. Well, I've also heard Jello is really tasty. I have not done that. I don't have any experience, but if you have, hey, tell me in the comments uh, what how you've done Jello. I would love to try that out at some point and uh, do a future video on Jello and cheesecake bites. I've actually heard that cheesecake is really tasty. You have to check with your local health district on that front, but I've heard that cheesecake bites are really tasty to do. Well, I hope this information was useful for you in your freeze dried business, or if you're starting out, giving you some advice on what to start out with. Freeze drying as a cottage food business can be really fun and it can give you a taste for what's to come if you wanna venture into a more of a commercial space. If you like this video and you like the content that I'm producing, hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. I'd love for you to join my community for freeze dried business owners. I've got other videos that you can take a look at on my channel that talk about how to freeze dry different fruits and candies and other business information. Hey, thanks a lot for joining me and I hope you join me again on the Freeze Dry Business channel.